Hello everyone and welcome back to Rudy's 1-6 World for another First Thoughts video. And this is something a little unexpected and it's the 108 Toys figures called The Villain and the Agent from Face Change. Now if that all seems strange to you, it's because this is clearly inspired by the movie Face Off with Nicolas Cage and John Travolta as Caster Troy and Sean Archer. So, 108 Toys. What do we know about them? They've released some interesting items so far, namely the, the version of Darkseid from the Zack Snyder version of Justice League. And that figure has already been released. I don't have it uh, personally, but it did seem like a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest, uh, based on the reviews. But that was a bigger scale character, so it'll be interesting to see how these turn out. But before even considering the potential issues, let's start with the surprise announcement here. First of all, Face Off is actually, I think, 25 or almost 26 years old. And it was one of my favorite action movies at the time. And while I would have loved the Caster Troy and Sean Archer figure, it just seemed like this was a property that not many people or many companies were really looking to touch. In steps 108 Toys and drops this bombshell. And it's amazing to me that we're living in a time frame where someone is making figures from these movies. It gives me hope for other great 90s movies. Um, can I say Broken Arrow, for example, another great John Woo movie? But like I said, Face Off was a movie I watched over and over again. And it still remains one of those great action movies with a pretty outlandish concept that actually worked. But enough of that. Let's start with the Caster Troy figure, and I'll say it's not a bad offering here. The sculpt is the better of the two, and I actually do think it looks a lot like Nicolas Cage. The accessories are also pretty nicely done with the very specific sunglasses and the two gold-plated guns with the very elaborate decorations on the handle. Some of the other accessories are great, with the spear gun from the final confrontation and the boots from the prison, but those seem to just not fit this specific release. For the boots, you'd want the figure in the prison jumpsuit, and similarly for the spear gun, it would be from the end of the movie where he's in a black suit. So I don't mind the accessories at all, but they're not 100% accurate to this look. As far as the clothing, I think it looks really solid, with the silk shirt and the popped collar over the jacket, uh, including the burgundy shoes being very screen accurate. The one thing about the suit itself though, the material isn't really accurate. The one in the movie has a more satin-like finish and it's almost a dark crimson. To be honest, one of the Damn Toys Gangster's Kingdom suits might actually work well here, but I'd be curious to see how it would fit on him. So, don't mean to nitpick, but just so you know that these are great representations of the characters as they appeared in the movie, but they're not 100% accurate, which isn't necessarily a surprise when it comes to third party. The second figure is based on John Travolta's Sean Archer, and I do feel that this figure does have an issue with the likeness, but it's an interesting... Um, thing to discuss. Without the glasses, you can see some distinctive features on the sculpt that clearly indicate who it's supposed to be. Namely, to quote Caster Troy, this ridiculous chin. But the issues ultimately come down to the eyes, where they just look off. However, once you put on the sunglasses, I think it becomes a total opposite where the likeness is on point. And there's no denying that this looks like John Travolta. So it's a figure I think that I would want to display with the shades on. Although fingers crossed, 108 Toys does a little more work on the sculpt, but we'll see. As far as accessories for him, he includes some very specific pieces like the cigarette case and the lit cigar, as well as the butterfly knife that comes in three configurations, closed, open, and in the process of being open. So nice choices here. In addition, he does come with a gun, but I'm pretty sure this one is wrong. I think in the movie he uses a SIG, and this, this is just the wrong piece. Plus, he does have a belt holster that doesn't look like we're getting here either. So I will be looking to pick up one of these. Um, in fact, I know for a fact Dan Toys has produced the gun already, so I can get the correct weapon, just need to find a holster. So while not perfect, I do think these are pretty good. They just need a little something extra to get them closer to what we saw on screen. The other accessory they each come with is their faces, uh, along with the container that holds them during the surgical procedure. Those are interesting, and there is a note about LED light-up features, so I'll be curious to see what that means once we get these in hand. Faces do look a little disturbing, but they did in the movie as well, um, so that's an accurate recreation. Hopefully this doesn't come across overly critical, uh, because the truth is I'm really excited to get these two figures. Um, these are definitely day one pre-orders for me, and I'm hoping they'll come out as decent as the promo shots. There are little improvements that I'll need to make, including maybe a suit swap for Caster, but overall, again, really solid offerings. And, and who else is really going to give us figures from Face Off? Well, maybe this starts some third-party discussion, right? Uh, Present Toys has been killing it lately, um, going back to some older properties. But I'm excited that someone is actually tackling these. And, and look, it gives me hope uh, that these classic lines might continue down the road. Like I mentioned before, I've always liked Broken Arrow and it would be great to get a Deacon and Hale figure. And 
Look, I'd love if someone made an eraser figure. Arnold with those portable rail guns? Come on, that seems like perfect figure material right there. Now tell me you wouldn't be tempted. Anyway, it really gives me hope for what's to come. And I'm really, again, excited about these releases. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts on these. And if you'd be interested in other figures from older properties, which properties would you like to see tackled? Let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you are enjoying the content, please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. And we'll touch base on the next video.